Okay, continuing on with uh, threats, um, general threats, and some of the uh, general threats that we uh, want to discuss in uh, a bit more detail. Um, we get to, uh, well, we've, we've talked about covert channels and uh, covert timing and storage channels, and as I mentioned, um, one of the uh, uh, examples of and, and most common uh, occurrences of a uh, covert storage channel is the uh, uh, object reuse, you know, uh, reuse of objects. Now, um, often this is, this is physical objects, and we have, well, we, you know, we have the devices themselves, which very often these days contain um, storage devices within them, um, non-volatile memory, uh, solid-state drives, um, hard drives themselves. Uh, all kinds of, of storage goes on in uh, devices that we, we discard. And we have uh, many examples of... Um, people going to um, uh, places where uh, uh, electronics go to be recycled and, and in uh, uh, many cases the, the recycling of uh, e-waste is, is not uh, doing an awful lot of recycling. You know, it's, it's more stripping of copper and other uh, easily accessible and easily saleable uh, materials but uh, in any case uh, it's it's quite easy to uh, purchase used uh, and and you know uh, devices sent for recycling and, and recover the information out of them so there's you know that's that's one example um, one of many examples and of course there are uh, many examples of the uh, uh, you know, tape drives, uh, hard drives, uh, storage devices, backup devices. Um, <laughs> if you get a used computer from me, uh, you will never get its hard drive because, of course, I uh, got my start in uh, malware research and most of my computers have a bit of a zoo of uh, sample uh, malware, um, viruses, uh, you know, what whatever it may be, uh, on uh, the computer. And so when I recycle a computer, I make sure I take the hard drive out. Now, uh, I have to recycle the hard drives at, at some other point with somebody who uh, is uh, trustworthy or knows how to deal with uh, that kind of material. And I know that they are not going to just send it for recycling or resell it or whatever. Um, so, you know, the, the physical objects, the, the uh, physical uh, storage devices that we use for, for storage in computers, for um, backup of our data, our, our backup drives, our backup tapes, our USB sticks, uh, that uh, not only can they... Uh, uh, command a, a considerable amount of data these days and uh, you know you can walk out of somebody's uh, office with you know their entire database on uh, a USB stick these days but uh, they can and in many cases uh, have been known to be uh, used as uh, devices to attack our systems. You can put um, applications, uh, programming on these devices so that they, when somebody sticks them in a computer, uh, you know, they fire up something uh, into the computer and start taking control. Uh, well, in, in a sense, you know, it's a different kind of threat in terms of object reuse. We're mostly concerned with confidentiality and, and uh, uh, access to data, access control, but well, in, in another sense, you know, it's, 
a different kind of access control in terms of the integrity of the systems, uh, that if people uh, use USB sticks that they find in the parking lot, uh, very often there is a possibility of something untoward happening. Uh, so, uh, I've, I've got a few examples of, in my collection because of uh, uh, getting things from uh, vendors who, uh, you know, I mean, they're not doing anything wrong. They're not actually installing malware, but they uh, uh, have programmed interesting things onto their uh, USB drives so that when you stick the USB drive into your computer, as well as getting, you know, their catalogs and uh, other promotional materials, um, every once in a while it pops up a little message, a little ad, uh, you know, whatever, uh, just informing you of the fact of the danger of uh, sticking unknown USB drives into your computers. So, uh, you know, however, uh, wandering uh, perhaps uh, a field from the the idea of object reuse, but yeah, the, the physical object reuse, the storage devices, uh, that we have uh, many, many examples in, in that regard. But then there's also the, uh, the logical side. And this is uh, mostly to do with uh, programming, mostly to do with um, memory. Although, uh, I have to uh, just mention here, um, these days, uh, again, um, non-volatile memory or uh, certain kinds of solid-state uh, drives uh, that people are using in place of memory in, in some cases or um, as the memory in, in certain types of devices uh, that they can store um, information in a non-volatile fashion and, and uh, that, that uh, can um, become another uh, sort of physical uh, storage channel. But um, in terms of the storage channels in, in memory, we're usually thinking about um, areas in memory that we use to store variables, to store data that we're uh, using in our applications. And we have, in uh, some cases, a, a sensitive uh, application which uses uh, sensitive data. And therefore, uh, you know, we, we have various protections and provisions, you know, as to who can use this application. Therefore, who can get access to this data but possibly forget to protect the actual memory itself that's being used. Um, and this becomes, uh, ironically these days, there are protections um, that we uh, build into computers in, in two terms of address randomization to ensure that uh, uh, attackers can't pick a specific area of memory and go and get right into the operating system. But at the same time, because of the address randomization, we may not be completely protecting the areas of memory that we are using for these confidential processing issues. And so, uh, you know, you have to be careful about um, how you are protecting the memory, about what areas of memory are being used for uh, uh, confidential data, for secure applications, and um, be aware of those possibilities and uh, uh, make sure when, when we are doing application processing uh, to... Uh, you know, in, ensure that they are adequately protected, that, that somebody can't go in to one of the areas that we are using for uh, uh, holding, uh, even temporarily, uh, secure sensitive data and, and access it. Um, we will talk more about this um, uh, in terms of the, the physical uh, accesses, in terms of operations, and in terms of the, uh, the memory accesses in, in terms of application security.